Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The MiG-29K was developed in late 1980s from MiG-29M. It features multifunctional radar, several new cockpit displays, hands-on throttle and stick controls. It has a range of weapons for various roles, however all of them are of Russian origin. The MiG-29K is armed with a 30mm cannon. It can be fitted with laser guided bombs, electro-optical bombs as well as air-to-surface missiles, anti-radiation missiles and rockets all of Russian origin. It can also be armed with air to missile like RVVA, R27ER or ET and R73E. India has imported 45 MiG-29K fighter jets from Russia but operates less than two dozen of them. The rest are kept as war reserves and in other form. The aircraft is equipped with weapons of Russian origins which are slowly becoming obsolete. For example, R-77 BVR air to missile of MiG-29K has a maximum range of 80 km. Indian Navy will have to operate the fighter jet for at least 5 to 7 years and can even stretch a couple of more years beyond that till TEDVF arrives. However, many indigenous weapons being developed by DRDO such as Astra Mark I, Rudram series of missiles cannot be fired from MiG-29K of Navy unless it is extensively upgraded like Su-30 MKIs. However, the integration of indigenous weapons or western origin weapon of MiG-29K is going to be extremely challenging due to absence of aircraft design, data, documentation, architecture, etc. So last year in December, it was reported that Indian Navy has approached HAL to study the feasibility of MiG-29K upgrade and Aircraft Upgrade Research and Design Center AURDC of HL has then launched a new upgrade program. The AURDC has also carried out the upgrades and weapon integration program for Su-30 MKI and several other imported air aircrafts. The MiG-29K upgrade program involves integration of indigenous mission computers, laser, ports, indigenous air-to-air -air missile, air-to-ground weapons. The program intends to enhance the MiG-29K lethality by integration of weapons like laser pod, indigenous laser guided bombs, general purpose bombs and Astra BVR missile. The successful integration will increase the lethality of MiG-29K in terms of range, improved day and night situational awareness, night attack capability and accuracy of target hits etc. So the heart of all the upgrade is going to be indigenous mission computer which enables HAL to integrate the indigenous weapons. And the good news is that the testing of the new mission computer has already begun since June 2022. It might take another 6 to 8 months to conclude these trials. Once the mission computer is integrated, it will pave the way for integration of indigenous weapons. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.